Linux Mint 21.1 looks cleaner and more modern. It is also more configurable and comes with a variety of themes, starting with the desktop. The desktop was tidied up and now only shows essential items. Rather than showing the computer, trash, network icons and more, they are only used occasionally and when available within the file manager. These changes only affect the defaults. If you want these icons on your desktop, you can definitely uh, go back to preferences and enable them easily. Just open settings, click on desktop, search for it and toggle these options and it will just show up fine. What does show on the desktop are the devices that are connected, that is the mounted devices and also the files that you keep in the uh, home slash desktop directory. So if you drop a file in the desktop, it will also appear in the home slash uh, desktop directory. The home folder was already easily accessible so it has been removed from the desktop. It is now pinned in the panel and can be opened from the main menu or by pressing the super plus E on the keyboard. Let us now talk about colors. The accent colors are way more vibrant than before. They lift up the mood and make Linux Mint more trendy and beautiful. Here is a comparison. While the new colors are cool, the old themes are also available under Legacy in case you want them. The way Linux Mint looked back in 20.2 is now named as Mint Y Legacy and is available as an alternative in the theme options. The vibrant accent colors have less influence now. In past, their themes used soft colors but these colors were featured in many widgets and desktop elements. You could see a lot of green but that green was muted. They removed the use of accent colors on the panels in the menus and they switched to yellow folders. The accent color is still visible on the folders as a small strip. Linux Mint now will switch to the aqua color by default instead of the green color which they iconically used before. Honestly, aqua looks much better. To give users more choice, Linux Mint 21.1 features alternative icon themes also. In addition to Mint X, Mint Y and Mint Legacy icons themes, the following themes are also installed by default. That is Breeze, Papyrus, Numix and Yaru. The Spotlight on the Mouse Linux Mint 21.1 switched to Bibata Mouse Pointer theme from Abdul Kaiz Khatri. The beautiful theme gives a fresh new look to the operating system. In addition to Bibata, the traditional DMZ white and DMZ black, a collection of alternative pointer themes were also added to give users more customization options. Sounds The system sounds were also changed to improve the user experience. The new sound comes from the Material Design version 2. They feel modern and reassuring. Here are some tests. The driver manager has received many improvements. Firstly, the user interface. The manager now runs in user mode, so you no longer need to enter the password to launch it. Offline support was redesigned. The driver manager now shows a dedicated screen if you are offline. The way it mounts the live USB stick and adds it as a source to install drivers is more robust than before. These improvements make installing Broadcom wireless drivers easier than before. There is also the full Flatpak integration. Flatpak support was also added to the update manager and now, now Flatpak will update from the update manager itself. Flatpak applications and runtimes can be updated like any other supported types of software. The software manager features a refreshed user interface which looks a little cluttered to me. The app now makes it easier to distinguish between Flatpaks and system packages. When looking at an application which is available both as a system package and a Flatpak, you can switch back and forth between its two versions from this menu. For example, in this case, for OBS, we can switch from Deb to the Flatpak or vice versa with the click of a button. New flat packs from Flathub are automatically added to the software manager on a daily basis. ISO verification tool is also being added. It is important to verify the integrity and authenticity of your ISO image before writing it to a stick. It is quite tedious and confusing so they have made it easier. Right click on the ISO image and verify. Done. Stick Formatter and Image Writer The ISO image also features a verify button which launches the verification tool. ISO image writing tool. If you try to write a Windows image, it no longer fails. It directs you to a helpful documentation. 
This version of Linux Mint, that is 21.1, comes with the Cinnamon 5.6, which has a new panel layout. A new panel bar applet was added to the right edge. This feature which was implemented in Windows. Although the corner bar is less noticeable or discoverable than the show desktop applet, it is easier to use once you know it is there. It occupies the corner of the screen so you can get there fast without aiming and with a quick movement of the mouse. Now the Cinnamon's corner bar supports an action on the left click and the action on the middle click. These can be configured to show the desktop, show the desklets, show the workspace selector or the window selector. The corner bar also supports peek to desktop or hover and it shows the desktop. If you now drag files over it, it is now easy to drop files on the desktop no matter how many windows are open. Visual changes are also there. In Nemo's icon view, selected files use the highlight not only their names but also their icons. This was inconsistent with Nemo's list view and it did not look nice. Only the name of the selected item is now highlighted going forward. Nemo will only highlight the file names. The icons won't be darkened anymore, giving the file manager a much more cleaner look. The icons representing the desktop. The bar they feature to represent the panel is now at the bottom just like the default position in Linux Mint. A shortcut to access the display settings was added to the desktop's context menu. Display settings are accessible from the desktop. Deaths in Nemo are displayed in monospace fonts. Now there are some improvements in the Nemo path bar. The path bar in the Nemo file manager was greatly improved. Clicking on the current path toggles the location entry. Navigating to a different folder brings back the path bar. The code which lets you remove the application from the main menu was reviewed and the password prompts were removed in situations where administrative permissions are not required. Removing a flat pack will no longer require a password to be entered. Same goes for simple shortcuts and local applications, that is applications which are not installed system-wide. Synaptic and the update manager will now also ask PKExec to remember your password, so you won't have to enter it every single time you perform multiple operations. Linux Mint 21.1 features a superb collection of wallpapers from several artists, and they are beautiful. But at the same time, it includes the folders for going back to the previous library of wallpapers if you like them from the previous version so that is also an option so that's all for this video talking about the entire features of 21.1 linux mint do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one